Hey, Pretzel Army, it's me, Presley. Today, I'm going to be telling you the best ways to make Christmas neons in the Christmas update. There's a bunch of new pets being released into the game every single week over the month of December. And I want to make sure that you know how to make neons of each of these pets in the fastest way possible. Before we get into this, make sure you get to the Robux giveaway by leaving a like, subscribing, and commenting down below your Roblox use and the number of how many ping pretzels you see flying across the screen during this video. They'll be randomly popping up or flying across, so make sure to look out for them. Alright, Pretzel Army, let's start right and jump down to the main center. Ah, yay, we didn't crash land. Okay, Pretzel Army, let's get straight into this. Neon pets are just so awesome. Like, look at this guy. Look at him. He just looks so cool. This is the Neon Irish Elk. And in Mega Neon, it looks even cooler. Honestly, I love this so much. Then the Ermine. I actually really love this one. I can't wait to get this one in Mega Neon, though. It's uncommon, so it won't take too long. And I honestly think it is such an adorable little pet. For the Ice Moth Dragon and Neon, look at this. It just looks so, so awesome. All right, Pretzel Army, let's get into this. And I'm actually going to be leveling up the Ice Moth Dragon today because you can do this with normal Neons or you can level up your Neons to make Mega Neon. To start off with Pretzel Army, I want to disprove something that a lot of people think. A lot of people think that making money is the same as grinding your pets to being neons. But actually, if you're trying to make money, that's a fully different strategy than trying to grind up your pets. For example, if you're making money, you're going to grind until you hit $150 and then you're going to swap over to a job. And in grinding for money, you don't worry about completing all of your tasks. You just want to make as much money as you can. Whereas when you're grinding up your pets to make neons, that is the complete opposite. So make sure you never have a job while you're grinding because that will actually ruin everything. You guys just saw by getting a job, it just deleted all of our Ice Moth Dragon's tasks, meaning it can't be leveled up by doing those tasks. And the Ice Moth Dragon won't get any new tasks while we have a job. But when we remove it, these tasks come back and we can go back to leveling up our pet. So make sure that you don't have a job and you're not working while you're trying to grind your pets up to make neons. That's a massive mistake that I see people doing that I just wanted to let you know you shouldn't be. Next up, having a fast car can be useful, but having fast cars is sometimes chaotic. Ah! Oh no. Um. Rest in peace, that snowman. <laughs> But like I said, having fast cars is really chaotic. Sometimes you crash and ends up just being annoying. Whereas having hyper speed potions and a super speedy person makes it much easier to not crash and you have a lot more control over it. So when you're grinding, try to eat as many things that make you run fast as possible, like hyper speed potions or cinnamon rolls if you collected a bunch of those. Cotton candy is getting kind of rare now, so maybe don't use that. There are a lot of different items that make you run faster and you want to be able to run as fast as you can to get to place for a place and do tasks super fast because that will get you to make neons much faster. I'm just going to be nibbling on all of my cinnamon scrolls because that will let us level up our ice moth dragon faster. But there's also something that you want to grab in the main center before you start grinding. Now we're just going to wait for this mini game lift. Fred Salami, do you see me doing the wrong thing here? Do you see me maybe doing something that's wasting my time? That's right, waiting for mini game lifts to take me up and waiting for different things to move me around when like 10 times quicker, I could just teleport to gifts. Literally know your teleportation. There are so many different places you can teleport to. You can teleport to the nursery, accessory shop, baby shop, farm shop, vehicle dealership, toy shop, and gifts display. Those are all the different places you can teleport to. And if you've been playing Adopt Me for a while, you'll know where all of these are. But if you're a new player, you know, get yourself familiar with the Adopt Me map and get yourself familiar with useful places and how close together things are. For example, you can't teleport to the playground, but you can teleport to the baby shop, which is right next to the playground. So make sure you're familiar with your teleport. So before you start grinding and leveling up your pets, make sure to head to the hospital. Then you want to pass by Nurse Nee into this room here. And honestly, most Adopt Me players don't even go into this room. But you want to head through and you'll see that there's two different doors. This door leads to a bed which your pets will heal up on if you put them here. Literally, they just slowly level up. But the room next to it actually gets you a special item called a healing apple. This healing apple is super duper awesome because it lets you heal up your pet from wherever they are on the map. Your pet could be in the nursery, in the school, or you could just be trading and you can stop them from being sick by feeding them this healing apple. It's literally as easy as this. Feed done. 
literally, then your pet will just eat. And watch, really, really quickly, our Ice Moth Dragon is not sick anymore. It's all healthy and it started to level up. Next, we can head to the school and it takes so fast to get around because we've eaten this super fast item. Another thing that can help you to get around faster is an item called a grappling hook. It's a really common item. You can get it in gifts. Don't get it from the toy shop because it's just so expensive in the toy shop. But if you go into the main center and you say, ABC, if you have a grappling hook, a, a nice person would literally give one to you for free. Like I have so, so many grappling hooks that I would be completely fine with giving any of these to anybody in the map. Apart from maybe like the more expensive ones from little updates. Like the Halloween Scythe grappling hook. This was a really awesome one that was added in. Or the Angelic grappling hook. Oh, this one's really cool. The one that I use the most though is definitely the Cactus grappling hook. I just love this little one so much. <laughs> you eat the cactus and then the prickles get stuck on something that it pulls you towards it. This next hack though is back in your home. You want to make sure that no matter what home you use, you've got a couple of items that can help you grind and level up your pets fast. You want to make sure these are in your home. So the items are a basic little crib, a bath or shower, pet food and water bowls, and a piano. All of these things do different things and help your pets level up. It's kind of obvious what the bath, crib, and pet food and water bowls are, but the piano is something most people are really confused about. What the piano lets you do though, is instead of going to the playground and healing your pet's boredom there, you can literally get them to play the piano. They play some super sick music, either with their little paws or just by bashing their head on the keys. <laughs> And that actually cures their boredom, so you don't need to run all the way to the playground. It's definitely a time saver because you don't need to run all the way there. But right now, our cute little ice moth dragon is sleepy, it needs a shower, and really wants some pizza. And honestly, I can relate to our ice moth dragon with a couple of those stars. Also, Pretzelami, something that can really help you when grinding to make neons is to get different friends to come and help you while grinding. Or instead of getting different friends, you can borrow devices from family members or use your other devices. Maybe your laptop, your phone, your iPad, or whatever other device you or your family members or friends have that you can borrow and log in different accounts and give each account one pet. Normally, if you're just playing by yourself with one device on one account, you have to level up one pet four times to make a neon. But if you do it the other way around and you get multiple devices, you can level up four beds one time. So let's say leveling up a pet takes two hours. Instead of doing that four times and taking eight hours, you only have to do it once with four pets all at the same time, which takes two hours, which is so much faster. So try and get as many friends or different devices to help. And you might even be nice enough to give those friends or family members a little reward for helping you. Maybe a little pet, some adopt me bucks, or even some strawberry toast. And Pretzelami, you can find a nice little pet leveling guide if you want to know how many tasks it takes to level up a specific rarity. We can see the pet leveling guide here by this guy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. <laughs> here is the commons, uncommons, rares, ultra rares, and legendaries. If you want to come back to this video super quickly, leave a like and it should be in your little like YouTube folder of your liked videos so you can easily come back and look at all of the different task numbers. Comment down below what neon or mega neon you'll be making in this Christmas update and I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace!